much for joining me. I'm here with another in my series of Easy Folio online classes. So this is a fantastic quick and easy folio for you to make, perfect as a Christmas gift um, or, you know, any time of the year. But we do have the, you know, Christmas season coming up and this is something that you can make quick and easy. You could gift it um, full of photos of your choice or gift it and let them add their own photos. It's a lovely, lovely personal um, gift to give. I think there's nothing better than adding photographs of, you know, your grandchildren or your dogs. <laughs> Those are my favourite photos. So I'm um, just going to quickly show you, look at that shaker. We've got a shaker. But, the, you know, it's not just a normal shaker. <laughs> this has got a bit of a wow because that shaker is holding all of this folio shut. Okay, look at that. It's holding it all closed and it's actually removable, fully removable. How have I done that? It's magnetised. <laughs> How fun is that? Um, so, yeah, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> so, you pick up the cutting guide, which will be £2. If you want to take the class, you know, and do it exactly the same measurements as mine. There will also be online tutorial, either in one part or two part, which you can follow along absolutely free for inspiration and ideas of how to make folios. If you want to make it exactly the same as mine, you'll need to pick up the cutting guide. Now, the papers that I've used are my Shabby Winter Blues collection. Now, this is an old collection. It's not new. I just thought at this time of year, you know, everybody's money's tight. Rather than bringing out another collection for you to purchase, I'd use one that a lot of people maybe have already got. Okay, so it's an old collection. I've revamped a few of the pages and I've also brought out this collection with US letter size. Previously, it was only an A4. My Kofi subscribers have been given the main collection, which is 21 pages, for free. They'll get the cutting guide as part of their subscription um, kind of perk as well. So it's always worth being a subscriber. So let's have a look. So you don't, if you've already got the paper, then that's brilliant. If you don't want to purchase the paper, but you want to take the folio class, you can use what papers you want. You don't have to use mine. Okay, use whatever you like. So we open it like so, and it's really, really lovely. So here it's designed for four by six photos. It does measure nine by seven, so you can put larger ones in the back pockets as well. So here we've got two, these are four by four ones. We can cut photographs to whatever size we want these days and print them to whatever size we want. We're not really limited. So these are uh, double-sided, they're magnetised. You don't have to use magnets if you don't have them in your stash. I'm not saying go out and buy them. Um, just the magnets just hold everything and keeps it neat and tidy, okay? Um, I purchased my magnets from Spider Magnets on eBay, in on UK eBay. Spider Magnets. They are the best and the strongest, and I get them that are as thin as possible. <laughs> so here we've got just a very simple double pocket, letting the paper do all the work. We've not got heaps of embellishments, and the reason being we want to make these quick and easy. Quick and easy is the key. Um, because, you know, if we're wanting them for Christmas, we want something that we can make really, really fast, turn them around fast. Maybe you do craft fairs, maybe yourself or a charity, you can turn these around um, in no time at all, okay? So, beautiful photo mats, I've shrunk the papers down to, to a page, absolutely love this wintry um, woodland scene here. And then up here, I've just done them... Um, Portrait, this is one of my favourite, all-time favourite images. Absolutely beautiful. That slides in there like so. I'll leave the links to the cutting guide and this paper collection in the description box below. There is also an add-on if you want to make a journal. Okay, I made a journal using this last year. If you want to go back through my videos and have a look, um, it makes a beautiful journal. So in this section here, I thought we've got a bit of a wow factor with the magnetised um, shaky shaker. Let's have another. So this section here is quite an odd shape, oblong. But what you can do is add your smaller photos here. If you so desire, I made these like fake 
um, Polaroid ones and you can add your little photos there or you can just enjoy the beauty of the paper. And this one here has got two little tabs. When you see a tab, that means it does something. <laughs> so what we do is we, woo, we pull it out and it's a double slider. Okay, really, really easy. I'm going to show you how to make this in the tutorial. And I make mine with no dies and no foam tape so mine's made super super simple and if you watch the tutorial learn how to make this you could adapt this and make it into a uh, you know a card as well okay it's the same sort of principle beautiful okay so then behind here we've got two more photo mats that slides out beautiful lovely images again so these were printed full size and then i just honed in on the image that i want and cut it out really really simple and the lovely background papers are all the same colors you know this blue is the same as this blue so it all coordinates beautifully there's quite a lot of background pages in the add-on collection okay so then we bring that down these will close with magnets that lifts up that comes on there we add our shaker uh, but are we done no we turn it over and we've got another magnetized flap there okay and a lovely deep pocket with yet more photo cards photo mats i beg your pardon so obviously you don't have to even add patterned paper you can just put your photos straight on here but i've done patterned on one side and then i'd add my photos on the back you could do what you want and there is room to add more photo mats than i have as so long as you don't go mad and add bulky embellishments now i haven't embellished this um you know over the top embellishing i've just added some simple die cuts here to the corner and a few little gems and the reason i haven't embellished it massively is because when i make these easy folios i want you to be able to recreate it and get the same results so <clears throat> i don't use heaps of dies and heaps of you know embellishments that you can't get hold of if you follow my online class you're going to get the same results that i've got and you're going to get the same look okay some people will even literally pause my videos and see which paper i've put where and copy the complete layout and that is absolutely fine that is, you know that's what the online class is for you know you can see everything and uh, you can follow them along they're very easy i give all of the measurements all of the scores and you can create this for yourself and it's lovely you will also note that in my easy folios um kind of series i think is this the third one or the fourth one i can't remember but they're all the same size the nine by four and the reason i've done that is that because at some point <laughs> with these slimmer ones okay we're going to make a presentation box so that you can put a few in a box okay so you can document maybe have one for christmas one for birthdays one for you know a wedding and put them all in a little box so if you get the cutting guide for this you can make this over and over and over again the um online class will be saved in a playlist which is called um easy folios online classes or something like that and so that you can always refer back to the tutorial you'll never lose it if you save them so that is uh, this month's online class I will tell you that the cutting guide is a very, very low cost. It will be £2, which is not a lot of money to be given the precise measurements to recreate this as many times as you like over and over again. If you make my designs, use it and, and you've purchased the cutting guide, you can sell them. You can do what you want with them. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. I hope you'll join me for that online class. The links are in the description box below. If you get ready and get the cutting guide and if you want the papers get the papers and then the tutorials will be up in a day or so okay maybe a couple of days because <laughs> i think i'm gonna have to do it in two parts so that we've got time to go through that and the slider very slowly so that you can follow along really easily thanks for watching take care and i'll see you very soon bye for now